Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look and take a look at the Aussie versus US dollar. Today's date is October 25th, 2024. Let's get started. As we head toward the close of the uh, trading week and look toward the new trading week, uh, let's uh, review what happened in, in trading in this currency pair. Uh, we cl uh, closed on Friday uh, near about this level right here. Uh, moved a little bit higher uh, in the Asian session and then started to rotate back to the downside. That rotation to the downside took the price back below this swing area through here where we had a number of different uh, swing lows and swing highs going back in time uh, to this area forming a floor right here, then a ceiling right through here, floor again before moving higher. Uh, we came back down toward that area in trading last week and traded admittedly above and below the level. Also uh, was joined by the 100 day moving average here. Uh, so the move uh, back to the downside here uh, fell back below that 100 day moving average. That's this uh, blue line right here at the 0 0.66952 level. Uh, we also uh, fell below the swing area through, uh, and moved uh, to the downside uh, like you would expect. Uh, then we got, then we had a uh, sharp corrective move to the upside. And where did we find resistance sellers? Right here against the 100 day moving average, right here against the uh, swing high of uh, uh, of this uh, or the high of this uh, swing area right through here. So the sellers did their job keeping this uh, keeping the price below that ceiling. And what did the price do? It moved up back to the downside as it should. That move to the downside took the price out to and through this swing area down through here, where again we had that number of different uh, swing lows forming a floor here. And then it became a ceiling through here. Got a little messy here before moving to the upside right here and then retrace back to the level and moving higher right through there. So we returned back to that level one a little bit below that level and then rotated back to the upside. We came up to retest the uh, low price from last week's trading right here near the 0 0.66578 and rotated back to the downside where we have now uh, continued to find support against the low of the swing area and trading above and below this green line which represents the 200 day moving average and that's where we sit right now right around the uh, 200 day moving average uh, we are below the 50 percent retracement level which is going to be our uh, our, our first uh, key target on the top side that if the buyers are to take control we need to get above that level if it does get above that level i would uh, uh, then look toward the low price from last week and finally uh, look uh, if it breaks above that then I think the market uh, uh, moves back toward the 100-day moving average toward the swing area right here as a, a retest after the failure uh, down here below the 200-day moving average and below briefly the low of the swing area. Conversely, if the 50% retracement does hold resistance right here, that's the best case scenario for the sellers. And then we look toward a move below the 200-day uh, moving average, move below the low price right here at 0.66189. And that would open up the door for a rotation back down toward or, or toward the 61.8 percent retracement of this move uh, to the upside uh, right through here uh, that level comes in at 0 0.6575 so uh, right now uh, we have uh, uh, support down here at 0 0.66189 we have resistance up here at uh, 0 0.66952 and we have the uh, 50 percent uh, the uh, 50 percent retracement level and the low price from last week as uh, intermediate levels that would need to uh, get above to increase the bullish bias if we stay below the sellers remain in control. So that's uh, my technical look at the Aussie versus US dollars we head into the weekend as we head into the new trading week. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye bye now.